Hey guys, so this is kind of an update video to a video I did a while back called Clearing My Mind on the PCT. Basically, uh, this is my journey into understanding that I actually had a mental illness. Um, I was diagnosed on June 25th, 2021 to date it with general anxiety disorder uh, that was causing clinical depression. Basically, I think I've had this my entire life. It was affecting relationships with my family. Any stressful situation, I would either become irritable or I would go into a flight syndrome. So I'd have fight or flight in those stressful syndromes or stressful situations kind of above and beyond what a normal person would. And best way to describe it would be if you took a problem and you classified it as like a children's book. So a few words, a lot of pictures, you know, five or six pages. That was the problem. I was basically creating the entire library of Congress, um, going over every worst case scenario, um, going over planning for every worst case scenario, or think of it like the MCU timeline from Loki, where it just would branch off and I would have to branch these directions. And that is a lot of weight on someone's shoulders. So on June 25th, I went in for my um, physical with my doctor and uh, she asked me how I was doing and I proceeded to have a panic attack there right in front of her. I was having panic attacks from things at work. COVID had kind of really brought it to a head and a few arguments with my wife had brought it to a head, which I'm thankful for because I would have never gotten the help had those situations not happened. I would have always just been dealing with this. So I had the panic attack in front of my daughter, doctor, and she, through conversation, we came to the conclusion that medication would be the best thing for me. Uh, she prescribed um, Cytofram and also to help me sleep, um, Trazoin, I believe. Um, I may have mispronounced that. I'll put a words here to say what they actually are, um, which... The, the, the interesting thing about the trazoin is it is actually meant to treat depression, but off-label it's used to treat insomnia. Um, she started me on 10, 10 milligrams of Cytofram. Um, after one week, I updated to 20 milligrams, and that is my current dosage, 20 milligrams. Every night, I take 20 milligrams. Um, side effects can range through a lot of things. I'm not going to go over the side effects that... Um, the medication can can give. Um, you can go look those up. It's basically, it's an SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Basically stops my brain from reabsorbing serotonin. So I have more serotonin in my brain, which regulates mood. Um, the side effects that I had with it, it's not all rosy, but it, there is a happy ending, <clears throat> was the first week while my body was getting used to the medication, I did wake up with a headache. Um, about 60% of the time, uh, twice I needed to take, you know, an over-the-counter pain medication, Advil, to uh, get rid of the headache. But most times I could just sit in, in bed and kind of wake up slowly to get through it, and then it was fine. The other side effect I have is it did really kill uh, my sexual desire, so my libido went way down, and my ability to achieve orgasm is, it's, it's more difficult now. Um, so, but... Like anything, you weigh those side effects against the benefits. And in my situation with my wife, those weren't big side effects. She was happy to get her husband back and in a mood where I could be a loving partner again. Um, for me, now on the medication, it's supposed to take up to two weeks, two to six weeks to take effect. I saw relief the next day. In fact, the first week back at work um, following it, so three days later, um, I would get anxiety attacks and I would get panic attacks, but I was able to regulate them away relatively quickly. So I had a few moments of panic attacks where I would go into tears, my breathing would go up, and I'd have a little bit of anxiety. Um, but after that week, so going into the second week, after I'd up my dosage to 20 milligrams, my anxiety went away. I was able to talk to people again. So social anxiety went away, general anxiety disorder went away, depression went away because I was no longer building these mountains out of molehills. Going forward, I'll probably be on the medication for the rest of my life and I'm okay with that because I've seen the effects in both my work 
and my personal life. I'm able to talk to people, I'm able to perform at work at a level I hadn't performed in a while. Um, I did have to go through some administrative, uh, let's rewind, some administrative situations at work where, you know, they were uncomfortable situations that I had to be a part of. Uh, no discipline for me, but um, I did have to be there. And those being the type of person I am, I'm very empathetic. Those were difficult situations and I was able to get through them pretty good. Um, I did have a little bit of anxiety going into it. I went, I laid down, um, I took my break, I laid down and I allowed my brain to just kind of decompress. By the time we got to the situation, I felt prepared and I was able to go through the situation relatively easy. Why am I saying all this? Because as a male, we've always been taught not to talk about our mental health or mental illness. I feel now that I am a recovering mental illness survivor. Um, I was going down a dark path. Um, I wasn't into harmful or suicidal uh, ideology yet, but I was starting to realize or, or be able to understand why someone like Anthony Bourdain, Katie Spade, um, Kate Spade, um, Robin Williams, Chester Bennington, Chris Cornell, the list goes on of celebrities that were on the top of the world, I thought, would actually commit suicide. And that was scaring me. That was a dark path. Now, I am not saying that Cytofram is the miracle medication for everyone. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose you. But what I am saying is this. If you are suffering from general anxiety, know that the doctors are out there to help you. There are a lot of medications out there. Some are SSRIs. There's four of them, all different chemical compounds. So um, if one doesn't work for you, you're able to move on to another one or even out of that class of medication. If medication is right for you, get the help though. Talk to your doctor, get a reference to mental health. Um, try to talk to a therapist, work on your breathing and realize that these bad days can pass but you may have to take an active participation in them and go out there and talk to a doctor um, or a therapist. I was lucky. First medication out the gate helped me, and not only did it help me, but it helped me the very next day. In fact, friends of mine have already been able to say, wow, this has really changed in you. you you're, you're a different person. Um, and that being said, I've been very open with my diagnosis. I've been very open now with my struggles with mental health and mental illness in the past. Um, and I think going forward, I'm going to be in a much better place, which brings me to why there's been those laps in the videos. Uh, during this time, I was enjoying life too much to put the camera in my face. I wanted to enjoy that, but now I'm ready to get in there and I'm hoping that with the medication now, my social anxiety in certain places where I wouldn't film because I'd be worried what other people think will go away because who cares what they think? I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this to document my life and I'm doing this to share it with people out there. Um, my motivation is way up and I think you're going to see a little bit different style of videos coming out in the future. Um, more effort put into them more gear reviews and hiking, more magic tutorials, more, you know, amusement parks and fun things that we do in LA or even around. They open cruising up and I'm an avid cruiser, so we'll see some cruising content. But until then, all I want to say is this. If you are suffering, get help. Talk to someone. Um, I'm going to put the number to the suicide prevention hotline down below in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Um, talk to someone if you're struggling because there is help out there and you are a worthwhile person. So with that said, to my hiker trash family, hike on.